Hello YouTube, it is I, the Amazing Curious Saltus, with another tutorial video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 95, but not just 95, but also dual boot installation 95 with NT4. And without further ado, let's um, boot into the, um, let's boot it up, and we're going to, I'm going to basically I'm going to boot into my installation disk. I'm going to go and go to my A drive. I'm going to run F disk. Now, if you don't have any drive partitions, just say no because we're going to do FAT16. But if you have no, don't have any drive partitions, we just we can just go right away to DOS partition. But we're going to, going to delete a primary partition. And we're going to create delete win 95c because I actually forgot to do something here. So I'm going to show you how to do this at least. We're going to create a primary partition. And we're going to just restart. We're going to actually go into the partition. We're going to check the partition. Of course, F3, F3. Hey. The disk. Now I want to look at the partitions that we got here. 247. Good. It actually format. Let's see. Clone forward slash S. This uh, makes it bootable, but of course I can't boot it, unfortunately. When 95C. So I'm going to create, go to C, make directory, when those, and I can just press the uh, right, um, the right error button and I can call the previous command which is an easy way to actually type this stuff out cd windows uh, options we wish to delete a directory or remove directory cabs try to call cabs and it's not there anymore so we're going to make cabs cd cabs we're going to copy our drive is our cd rom drive win 95 you should be familiar with keyboard commands and we're going to delete and we're going to delete the ie setup.exe We got MS our MS batch dot INF in here, which will allow us to this dual boot, not dual boot. It allows us to do a non-intended installation. So for most things, I don't I shouldn't have to uh, deal with um, having to put in information. Delete IE four set up dot exe. So it's uh, set up. Um, ignore scan disk so we don't have to go through the annoying scan disk stuff we just, just get down to brass tacks yes so yes so I didn't want to have to screw that one up I just use my username YouTube name this is just quicker that way anyway. So it's analyzing my hardware. And I will be installing the... And I will be installing some new... Some, like, IPX. Mine is by default set to only install TCP IP because that is a bit of a pain to set TCP IP up on here. 
on 9.95, it is a bit of a pain. And only TCP IP. You know. But we can do do the, some of the, the networking setup stuff and Windows 95 setup anyway. And I choose, prefer to do it that way where I have TCP IP already loaded. By default, it uses IPX, but we will but we will be installing the IPX protocol in here as well. Show you how to do all of this. I will give I will put links to relevant places where you can download um and inst certain things. So we're already here. We'll go here. Go to protocol. Now, we're going to install the IPX protocol. We're going to go to IPX. We're going to do, I want to do NetBIOS. We're going to install NetBuoy. And we're going to install the 30, 32-bit DLC. Now, if you have network cards, now if you have a network card, you go here and you have your driver disk, you can load your drivers and already load your drivers now. Or you can do that after you've installed Windows. And see what services are on here. See, we want um, file and printer share, personal web server. We can install a personal web server if we want. In fact, I'll probably try and do that. I think it'll automatically install our drivers for the networking. But now we've got most of the stuff we need. And we can choose what we want to use Windows to log on. Or clients for, for Microsoft Networks. We'll use clients for Microsoft Networks. And there we go. Now we're done. Cancel. Okay. Pull the disk out. But now we're... Um, but now we're, we're we're ready. I want to check the time. It, yeah, I should not be up. I should be back in bed and whatnot. But I'm a little dizzy. And what I a little uh under the weather. Probably sleep deprivation is no joke, man. Don't don't be doing what I'm doing right now. Don't ever do what I'm doing right now. But I'm just doing this because why not? So let's install until when we're done. And one of the neat things that we just did with um, installing the IE4 setup.exe is it won't install Internet Explorer 4. And what comes with IE4 is the desktop update. And you know, we don't we don't even want IE4 on here, period. So we have like a pure Windows 95 setup, an almost pure Windows 95 setup. There's just a few things that just make it not exactly 100% pure. But it's still more or less pure. So let's see if it'll boot. Will it blend? That is the question. Da 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 does 
if you if you don't if you don't boot it from the hard drive which I didn't boot it from the hard drive I didn't boot the hard drive up plug and play plug and pray plug and play plug and pray now So you're gonna see something really cool. He's using an NE two thousand, so on the on the emulator it's got the NE two thousand, so that's why it has um the that's why it is doing that's why it automatically will load the drivers if I restart and I show you. I just I was curious to show this I was just curious to figure out to find out some stuff with um and that window still exists in windows windows to that day that up uh, th that this little window here is in windows is very can continue it's weird that had that was a weird little hiccup that was a weird little hiccup, and I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> Windows 95, my friend. There's a reason why it's... It, there's a reason why Microsoft was working on NT4 at the time. Man, that was the reason. Now, it's going to boot my, my install disk for 95. We also have not, uh, the NT4 installation disk already copy the ISO for that which I would which I will want I just want to show you Windows 95 with Internet Explorer 3 which believe it or not if you don't install it for you'll install um, Internet Explorer it will just stay with Internet Explorer 3 see I told you it had our network drivers already on the disk which is one of the nice things about 95 it supported a lot of the stuff that you know and since I wanted to show you this trying to run the 95 setup so now we got 95 the internet and this is what Windows 95 looks like without Internet, Internet Explorer. There's the, and that's something from that. If you've ever installed Windows 990 second edition, first edition, I mean, you'll recognize that. So it's take a look and see. We don't have IE4 on here, so it's pretty much a base Windows 95 install. So I'm going to just shut this down right now, and I'm going to go. Here, I'm going to boot into the setup. Actually, we just... We did run the installation is for NT4 here. I just... Yes. Yes. My fire firewall is... Having fun time. I'll just load the installation disk. But we're not going to be installing from Windows 95. No, we're going to be installing from the 90 from the NT4 disk. So what we're going to do is we're just inspecting files. Brony Inspector. Now the fact that I know names and stuff. Like for no good reason. Like the fact that I know about people like that is is not surprising to some people because I have a pretty well first knowledge of this sort of stuff that always gives me a headache and so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go here We're just gonna, I'm just gonna restart. What the frick? Going on with this? I'm just gonna restart. Hopefully, it allows me to do stuff in the setup. 
Because this is weird. And this is service, service pack one of NT4. It is the one I would recommend downloading instead of the original. There we go. It's, there we go. Now we're working. Yada, yada, yada. Hey, hey, hey. Yada, yada, yada. Hey, hey, hey. So we've got fat. So that's uh, to create a partition. And the on partition space press C. Let's um, take 247. So we're going to create a partition on formatted. So we're going to format in the fat. Because in order to do dual boot with Windows NT4 and 95, we have to format both drives in the, f in the FAT format. Because this was released prior to Windows 95B. That is um, kind of how old NT was. NT came out after Windows 95 came out. And it shares the GUI interface. 95 and you can also install enable the uh, program manager from in from Windows 3.1 in uh, NT4 believe it or not so you can have it like an old school um, installation now I'm going to remove my disk because we're going to be be um, loading that We're just going to insert the disk again. It's inserted. And we're probably just going to set this up. I don't know if I'm going to set this up for IPX, but it's the same way set up the Windows 95. I thought we'd, I'd show you guys how to do this because you guys might like this. Um, I've always wanted to do a. Um, this is a Windows 95 soft core video, and this is going to be my Windows 95 soft core. <laughs> oh. Hmm. <clears throat> I feel I feel weird. Yeah, I kind of feel I kind of feel a little under the weather, so I get a drink. So while this boots, there we go. Now now it's ready to go. So we're gonna go to. We're going to click setup and, and it's similar to Windows 95. Um, I would highly recommend doing um, TCP IP and IPX. I, mean, I usually think NT4 is better for the TCP IP, so I'm going to do this and I'm going to put that computer name and we can call it NT4 box or something uh, we should put a network password not a password we're going to put a strong and complicated password is DT would, would put it DT DT as distro tube. 
No, we don't need, we shouldn't. I'm going to do this. Do that all the way. And we need, 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 need to go into the Windows 95 setup anyway. And yes, wired network. I mean, I would actually have to keep network drivers for my, uh, for my laptop for NT4. And I know, I know that a lot of people, oh, you can't, oh. nah. You know, if you ever try to install uh, networking stuff in NT4, then you will understand, yeah. A four megabytes, uh, compact, f f a four megabyte SSD from, from the 90s is a very useful thing for doing this. Because then I don't have to put on my disk. Search for any networking. We should should have the drivers for the network, but I'm surprised it doesn't have the NE2000, which I think is on here. So we gotta see if the NE2000 is in here. It should be in here because this is like, oh, it's got the token ring stuff for IBM. So let's go here. Novell. I think it is any 2000 compliant adapter. We'll see what we got here. And pretty soon. So let's go here. And I would recommend. Or it's Realtek. Um, it's Realtek uh, RTL 8119AS. So we need to. So we need to install Realtek. Should have the drivers for the Realtek. But it doesn't have them. Interesting. So, if you have, like, network drivers, you would have to disinstall them that way. So, so I'm just going to switch the, the network adapter then. I should just use any 2000 and whatnot. It's a complaint. Unfortunately, we'll have to restart the setup. No, we'll just we'll just install. But you would actually do Windows 95's network setup stuff as well. Kind of similar. You would actually just add a new network. New pro protocols. I don't think they can do a, t I, a TCP IP. I think, yeah, it's got the TCP IP. It's got net buoy, got that. So it's got our our net standard network stuff. So if you wanted to do network drivers, you have your like network card and whatnot. But we don't have the any two thousand installed on this VM. Shame. I have a shame though. I see. Yeah, of course it's not I see. Yes, configure it. So. So we can go here. And so it'll. So NT4, and we can configure it with for domain, which domain's a pretty interesting way to go about that. I don't have a domain, so I want to go with uh, I want to go with Mountain Time, Denver. So, we wanted to do it. Now, I got a Voodoo 3 emulating, being emulated here, so it's not going to...
properly do video stuff yet. But you can, I think you can load the video drivers from within the setup if you have them on there as well. You know, people tell me, oh, oh, Windows 95, or you, like I said, oh, you don't need a 4 megabyte, um, um, flash memory card. That's just, that's just a waste of space. It's, it's obsolete. Like, if you're installing, as I said, if you're installing NT 4.0, you're going to need something to keep drivers on so you don't have to find your floppy disks. And networking stuff in NT 4 is a bitch. You know, people, people have never tried to install NT 4. And I wanted, I want to install this on my Gateway Solo 2500. Uh, because I would like to have something a little bit more stable than 95. 95 doesn't crash at all for me. But I kind of prefer NT4. Just for the extra amount of stability that Microsoft is able to get with this. And that was a lot of people's options. So yeah, it's got my disc in here, so I need to um, remove the disc. I'm going to empty. Do that. So we should uh, have. And it should allow us to boot into Windows. And I'm actually going to show you guys I uh, would just boot the VGA mode. If we had like the drivers installed, VGA mode would actually work properly, but it's not going to work properly. But I'm going to show you guys how to change the name of that Microsoft Windows thing. Control on. Yeah, it doesn't have a video driver. Control delete. Ha! <laughs> But if you wanted, oh, DT. Let's put in our, see. Cancel. Yeah, it won't allow us to log in. But. I'm going to shut it down. But I'm going to actually boot it back up again. Or we can do it that way. And it's, yeah, it's very interesting, isn't it? NT4. Very interesting little operating system. The very robust operating system, too. It's it's not. It's much more secure than Windows 95. It won't even allow us to cancel, which means that Microsoft has managed to create a level of you know what. In fact, I want to restart. I think we just need to do we just we just need to, yeah we'll just boot VGA but I want to show you Windows NT4 for all the right things are going on here but I will drive Oh god. But it isn't, it isn't, there's no video driver, so. You know, there's no proper video driver. Control delete. So, yes, finally, it's allowing us. Pipe our, our, our complicated password. And so, this is what Windows NT4 looks like. Kind of similar to 95. Yeah, and it's got Internet Explorer 3, I think, as well. So, 
We're gonna go here at a 95, um, and we can actually change the name of 95's um, installation boot.ini. I think it's an ini file. Let's see what kind of file it is. I think it is an ini file. Yes, boot.ini, and we can actually change this to 95 osr 2.5. And we can just change that. In fact, we will dot i and i. In fact, I will create the file here. Yeah, it's very old. Yeah, this is the beginning of uh, NT4. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to go find, yeah, I would install the desktop update on, on, on NT4, do not give a shit what people say, or it's, it's so bloated, yeah, I don't give a sh crap, I don't give a, I don't give a flying, flying freak, what do you guys think, copy this, so now, when we restart, when we restart, it should show up with, um, there's still a, a few things we need to do with, uh, 95, and that is, and it just shows up with 95 OSR 2.5 now, so we know what version of Windows we're running. Because we don't know, oh, we don't know what version of Windows we're running, so I want to know. So what I'm going to do, since we've got, I should have just chosen any 2000 in this case, because that's very commonly supported by a lot of different devices. So I'm going to go here, control panel, installation. We are going to, we're probably going to take this and we're going to, one, two, three, four, but we're going to do this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so we're going to, install a bunch of crap that probably didn't get installed completely and there we go because we did copy our installation disk to the hard drive we don't have to um insert the cd-rom so it'll copy whatever files it didn't install and this is kind of cool to be able be able to be able to install this. So it's copying the sounds that we didn't install on here. Which that is that is a very important thing. It doesn't have these sounds by default. And you do it that way. And so now we have Windows 95. So now you know how to do a um, dual boot of 95 and a, of 95 and, and and T. So what I'm going to do and is boot into Windows 95 and then we're gonna take a look at what we got here. So I think we we can create another partition. And we can do this within Windows. So what we got here, so I'll show you how to do that within the command line, because we're going to need additional drive space. So we can create an, a logical partition, which is what we will want to do. 
if we want to cop need to copy any more additional stuff to the drive like updates for windows and whatnot let's go to disk space um utility accessories um, see this is why they need to go back to this original interface because this interface is so much better in my in my honest opinion i think windows 95 the interface is one of the best interfaces so we don't have a means of doing this ms dos prompt we're going to go to f disk uh yeah we're not going to do that we're going to create a dos or logical partition three i think we Okay, we got only that. Now we have another partition. So we've got an even another partition. So we have additional partitions. But what the way I would have done that is I would have created a... If I had a larger drive like a 32-gig hard drive or 32-gig SD card, is I would have created two um two gigabyte partitions i would have created those would have been fat 16 i would have created a fat 32 uh, windows 95 partition that that consisted of uh, five gigabytes no not five gigabytes so of um 10 of of eight gigabytes Well, something around 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 the space of eight, and NT four would have gone something right around a uh, four. It's something of like large drive, but this is how we're going to do that, and that's how we create our new partitions. So if we restart, we're going to restart. So now we got our new partitions. So you're learning some stuff about Windows NT 4 and Windows 95 that you probably did not know. Things that that I think if you watch Kuji, Kuji's probably done a video about this, but I wanted wanted to do a very good video on this, like a specific video, so that way I can actually do this myself. When I when I go to install Windows 95. An NT4 on my laptop. So, what we're going to do, since and you can choose whatever drive spaces that you want, I want to see if the drives appear. Um, so they appear now. I want to. Um, oh. So what we're going to do is format. You can't. So we're going to look at E and F. So then, then we'll just run that, and so now we know what format. Format. E colon so we just format it so now we have additional space one two three four five six one edit one format F and there we so now we got space yeah I kind of spelled that one so now we've got space 
additional space on our um, on our drives. So we go to our drives, we can load them. And that is our NT4 drive. So we're gonna name our NT4 drive um, when NT40. Because I want to know what we have here. I want to know what was installed on this drive, on this system. So now we got, and there you go. Now, now you know how to install, um, now you know how to install NT4. And Windows 95 in a dual boot and also install Windows 95 period. And that's about all. Peace out.